Russian soldiers returning from war in Ukraine scare Russian society and create problems for Kremlin. The Kremlin's policy of sending hundreds of thousands of Russian men, including many prisoners, to war with little to no training or equipment has had predictable effects back on the home front. Numerous soldiers have committed violent crimes upon returning home, according to Medusa outlet. The Russian authorities have been reluctant to criticize these veterans, with Putin calling for them to become the country's new elite. But according to Medusa's inside sources, the president's team is well aware of the risks the returnees pose and fears Russian society isn't prepared to accept them. The Kremlin believes that the return of Russian soldiers from Ukraine will be the country's biggest political and social risk factor. During Putin's current term as president, Kremlin domestic policy Tsar Sergei Kirienko told a group of deputy governors at a meeting in early July. According to two people who were in attendance and a third source close to the Kremlin, Kirienko stressed that returning soldiers are adapting poorly to civilian life. He noted that many volunteers enlisted in the army as a way of getting out of prison and that some of them have committed new crimes, including murder and rape, after returning from the front. But Kirienko also went beyond former inmates and spoke about returning soldiers in general, according to Medusa's sources. One source said the deputy chief of staff contrasted the current war with the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan and World War II. Medusa's sources noted that in private conversations, Russian officials have begun referring to soldiers returning from Ukraine as the new Afghans and are afraid that, over time, the former servicemen could become disillusioned with civilian life and form their own criminal groups. The two meeting attendees added that they concluded from Kirienko's statements that the Russian authorities don't fully understand the scale of the risks that the country might face after the war. A source close to the Putin administration told Medusa that gaining a broader understanding of this situation is one of the Kremlin's main goals for the first year of the president's new term. A bridge collapse caused by torrential rains in northern China has killed 11 people and left more than 30 missing, state media said. China's President Xi Jinping has ordered an all-out rescue effort following the disaster in Shaanxi province. Rescue operations were underway in the province's Jiaxue County, with some 20 cars and 30 people still missing, Xinhua News Agency said. Five vehicles that fell off the bridge have been recovered, according to the state media outlet. The bridge over a river in Shaanxi province's Shanglua buckled on Friday due to a sudden downpour and flash floods. All 11 confirmed victims were found inside five vehicles that had so far been recovered from the water. Images on state television CCTV showed a partially submerged section of the bridge with the river rushing over it. One witness told local media that he had approached the bridge but that other drivers started yelling at me to brake and stop the car. A truck in front of me didn't stop and fell into the water, the witness, surnamed Meng, said. State television broadcast images of neighborhoods flooded by muddy water, with excavators and residents attempting to clear the damage. Northern and central China have been battered by heavy rains earlier this week, causing flooding and extensive damage. In Baoji City in Shaanxi, at least five people were killed and eight missing after floods and mudslides, state media reported. The neighboring provinces of Gansu and Hunan in central China were also affected by incessant rains. Nanyang City in Hunan saw a year's equivalent of rainfall at the beginning of the week, CCTV reported. In southwestern Sichuan province, Two people were reported killed and seven missing on Friday after heavy rain triggered landslides, Xinhua said. China is enduring a summer of extreme weather, with the east and south experiencing heavy rain while much of the north has sweltered in successive heatwaves. The climate crisis is making these types of extreme weather more frequent and more intense. Thank you.